Two changes from the lead side, clearly suffering from a European hangover at the weekend. Danny Mills, who also started against Milan, comes in at the back for the latest long-term casualty, Michael Dubry. And up front, the Australian Mark Paduka, available again after Olympic duty, he's preferred to Michael Bridges. Such a stunning win for Besiktas over Barcelona last week. Ahmed Dursun scored two of the three goals, and Frenchman Numa the other. A resourceful counter-attacking side also includes German midfielder Munch and the Russian defender Klestov. Passions, of course, are still running high over the tragic events of last April, but with so few Turkish fans having made the trip, security has been scaled down, and two teams who've so much to play for now can concentrate on the task in hand. Taking the whistle on a mild evening now at Ellen Road, Vitor Manuel Melo Pereira from Portugal. David O'Leary believes his team are ahead of schedule. He'd have settled for one point for the first two games. They had three and could now conceivably head the group by the end of this evening. Not too many. Uh, Jim Beglin would have forecast that after the trauma of Barcelona. Absolutely not, Peter. It was a torrid night, but even when it was becoming too much at the new Camp that night, I think you could look ahead to the meetings with Besiktas as a, a way of Leeds possibly getting right back in the hunt. And I would expect to see that reflected tonight in a in a rousing start because that Milan uh, win last week was a huge bonus for the club. Here's Kelly. On to Boya. A good movement here from Alan Smith. Back has made a run into the middle to join Maduka. Here is Maduka. Rather lack conviction there, but now Hart who can really fire them in with either foot. Now Mills stepping up. No, there was no flag for offside. Some very static defending then by Besiktas. And the Leeds fans sensing that the Turks are there for the taking at the moment. It was Typhor, the captain. And Radaby tidying things up for Leeds very coolly too. Such a composed figure at the back. Kelly now needs longer serving player. On by Backer, and a good run by Boya. And Umit was there this time to tidy up. <laughs> Nonsense goalkeeping then by the Nigerian. Shirongu. Now Dakor. Came down off Kaha, the Slovakian international. And this fellow could be dangerous, Nihat, with his surging down the right. Certainly gave Barcelona plenty of problems last week. Good run too. Now it's Ahmed. Endeavouring to wriggle his way through. He has much in support. Decided he didn't need it. And he's going nowhere. But a warning sign there to Leeds. Well, it certainly started Jim at a frenetic pace. Well, you'd expect that. And as we know, Alan Smith likes to get involved. I think he was probably doing a little more tugging than his opponent on that occasion. But I thought it was a good chance for Ahmed before Peter to get a shot in. As soon as Nihat played him in, he just dallied too long and he could have shot much quicker. David O'Leary was off the bench protesting just now. That was Numar, the Frenchman, who has four goals in Europe already this season, including the qualifying games. Kahan. Now Ibrahim, he's all left foot this fellow, but he can certainly play. Kahn. Good play too then from the Slovakian, oh, what a shot! Searing drive then by Kahn, and it was only just the wrong side of the post. Oh, it was lovely play, I mean, it was slick passing, that'll make the Turks feel a little bit better. Getting it into feet, good movement, and as soon as he picked this up, his mind was made up from where I was sitting. I thought that was in. Great effort. Really caught it in the meat. Well, he's regarded as the best player in the Slovakian national side, and you can see why on the evidence of that contribution. Good break here. Pass away down that left side again. Flight start. A 
goal. They've been threatening here right from the kickoff, and it's Lee Bowyer. The man who scored the goal amid such elation a week ago has done it again. Yes, Lee Boyer had to be in the position to do it, but what a ball that is from Ian Hart. I mean, we know he can deliver so well. He had time, enough to get it right, and boy, did he get it right. That is a fantastic supply, and really, in the end, Lee Boyer, he couldn't miss it. Very brave, committed, and that was definitely going in. Straight to Mills. I did OK against Milan Mills in that fairly unfamiliar role in the centre. Now the flick on for Smith, and he's onside here, Maduka! Oh! The ricochet off the bar. Well, give credit there to the keeper, but it was a golden opportunity for Mark Maduka to claim his first goal for Leeds. He should have scored, but well, what awareness this is from Smith. I thought Maduka was off, you know, when it was played as well, Peter, but you carry on until you hear the whistle, he did just that. I don't know how the goalkeepers managed to knock that out to the crossbar and get it away, but Viduka, for me, should have put the ball in the net. But yet again, Pashik just in some disarray at the back. A feeling in vain for an offside flag. That was Bako with a flip, not read, though, by Smith. Umit away. But they look very edgy at the back, Pashik just. Very edgy indeed. Rescued by Sharonmu. The road is luck. Kelly now to swing it over. Again, there's no marking. And this time, Maduka has scored. What a magnificent opening here for Leeds. Mark Maduka. No chance this time for Sharonmu, who will be berating the defenders in front of him for the lack of them. Well, again, I have to praise the quality of the cross. It was a great ball in from Gary Kelly. And a decent striker, worth a salt. He's got to attack something like that. And Viduka just did just that. He had more to do than Boyer, but he did it really well. The header's down off the greasy surface, wide enough for the keeper. And he's got no chance to get there. What a start. Here is Viduka now. I think David O'Leary felt that Michael Bridges was a little uh, off peak. Not so Viduka so far. Well, I think if Smith and Bridges had been setting the world alight lately, then it might have been a case of leaving Viduka on the bench. But that's not the case. I think the keeper might have even got it. He did, in fact, get a touch on that for the corner. Well, he knows where the goal is. This fellow, Mark Viduka. Denied by the reflexes of Sharon Mu. Dakor. Well, I think the marking suspect. I mean, the court comes short, plays it near post. Lucky break, but watch the keeper. I mean, that's very, very rash. He committed himself, and then as soon as Matthew took it round him, he was a goner. He's gone to ground, and it's a great finishing from Matthew. who's not normally renowned for that. He'll uh, be just a touch happy with that one. Kelly, what a good ball that is too for Eric Backer. Move it with the block. But again, some fine combination play by Leeds. They really have been easy on the eye. Well, that's back to what they were doing before. Let the ball do the work, keep the movement good, and the passing brisk. And they might be in again. Radaby, Matteo, both in the middle. Along with the likes of... Oh! Back off the crossbar. And that hammered wide. It was Matteo again with the first effort. Well, he's really enjoying himself as Matteo. I think he was a little disappointed at first when he realised he had to leave Liverpool, the club he'd always been at. It was a good effort, good flick on. And when it came back, it looked from here initially as if it was close, but well wide. Backer. Here's the Norwegian again, looking to turn tight for. He's away from him too. 
in went Smith and it was so close Ball for a moment and has sneaked in just past the post great play here by Backer fantastic skill from Backer great footwork <laughs> what can I say Alan Smith would tell you himself I'm sure after the game that should have been absolutely buried it was on a plate and he just didn't get enough on it Backer's lost possession. Here's Kahan. Klestov. Kahan again. Good pace too by him. Numar ahead of him. This is Numar. In went Mills. And then Radaby. Kahan. Got his strike on goal. Again, Leeds got bodies in the way. Try four. Mills is there, then Matteo, back up to tie four. Carhan just living it on to Ahmed, it's a really good chance, good save by Martin. <laughs> Held his nerve. Well, the first... Leeds hold their lead. Sorry, Peter, the first sign of tiredness for me in Leeds tonight. I thought they were a little bit sloppy, a little careless, diving in, poor passing. But Ahmed, I thought he could have picked out the far corner, still a great save from Martin. Brilliant reactions from the goalkeeper. Bunch. Rather be unchallenged. Just off having to turn here. He never looks too ruffled, does he? Sure, up move. Not so sure. Kahan. Down below me, uh, Eddie Gray and David O'Leary getting a little concerned now. Numar is the wide man here. Oh, good ball in, and it's slipped home, is it? No, side netting. It should have been from Umit. It should have been. He had a little look as well. Nigel Martin was never going to get there. Clever run, good delivery from Numa. A driving forward again now with Hart. Smith. What a game he's had. Here's Vaduka now. He's onside. He's got Hart up with him. And Matteo. Still Dominic Matteo. The drop by Cresto. He really has an eye for goal this evening. He's enjoying himself right there. I think he was thinking about European double there. Straight onto his right foot, and you know he's going to hit it. And it's a good block. Oh, man. Caught out by Smith, who's so persistent. Now, Viduka. Still Mark Viduka. Lining it up for Becker. It's another outstanding goal by Leeds United, who are really turning on the style. Backer this time, 4-0. But such hard work put in by Viduka. Well done, Mark Viduka. I mean, he must be feeling the effects now. He held it up, held it up, great composure, always aware that Backer was there. And although Backer was falling backwards, he'd expect the ball to go high, just kept his foot over enough to keep it down. And how sweet is that? But this is Kahan showing too much of the ball to Radaby. He followed through then on Radaby. I think might have caught him round about the knee. Backer again. Still leads pressing. And they're calling over to the bench for some treatment to Radaby. The Sheikta still pouring forward and being invited to do so by the referee. That was much. And now he can receive some attention, but that is a very worrying sight. As Kelly gets involved with Munch. Mills, oh, trying to break it up, and Newmar led with his arm raised there. And he's going to be surely in big, big trouble if the referee saw that. I think he's got to go. If the officials have seen that, he's got to go. I've seen people sent off for a lot less.
Well, Numar is being replaced. He hasn't been sent off. Maybe they've taken him off before he is dismissed. Well, I just wondered if there's been a change of mind because of what he's just done. Maybe the bench has seen it because Carhan came across to the bench as if he was going to be substituted and they seem to change their mind. Well, he's had his problems off the field in the last few weeks, Newmar, incident at a nightclub which has had a lot of attention back in Istanbul and he has done himself no favours with his behaviour here. Played in for Viduka, and he got his feet in a tangle. What a chance. I mean, it just seems that they don't even have to try now. What a ball it was from Gary Kelly to begin with, and the run from Lee Boyer. <laughs> the ball, it wasn't the greatest, no, because it's gone through the defender's legs, and I don't think Viduka was expecting it to get through. Matteo among those who have cashed in on the score sheet for Leeds tonight. And they might not yet have finished. Yeah. Oh, just tipped over. Back as header. Good well then, the keeper. But he's reminded us yet again of his prowess in the air, Eric Backer. Backer's been brilliant. Again, they don't close Gary Kelly down, allow him to get the cross. And I think it might have been going over anyway, you know, from Backer. But the keeper had to be sure. They might just have clipped the bar. Had he not got his hat to it. We'll never know that. But here's Lee Bowyer with a corner kick. It's a free header for Hart. And turned in by Huckabee! It's five for Leeds! Sharon Mood is consulate figure now in that Pasikta's goal. Lightning reactions. I mean, Huckabee's got hardly any room to turn. Might have even gone through the defender's legs when he actually turned it in. But it's brilliant. Instant control, turn on a sixpence, and bang. Oh, yeah, he just has not stopped running all evening. Huckabee. What an engine he has, Lee Bowyer. He's up there again now. Huckabee, he's got the Duca in there. performance here. Well, when Huckabee came on, it was Taylor Nathan. Defenders who were all over the place are now very tired into the bargain. They've given up the ghost, and this is brilliant from him. Very direct, positive. And then, to get the delivery in like that for Boyer, to come in again as he loves to do, far post, and for the second time of the night, he steals in, unguarded, and an easy finish, and well-deserved, because he's put a phenomenal amount into this evening, too, and merits his two goals. Deep into stoppage time. And the referee now has signalled it's all over and signalled the end of a fantastic night for Leeds United. It's getting better and better and better for them. Leeds United 6, the Sheik Tass 0. An amazing and brilliant scoreline at Elland Road. As if that's not enough, later in the programme we've extended highlights of Manchester United's trip to Eindhoven. But when we come back, it's reaction from Ellen. Result in, in league football, but in the Champions League, it's almost unheard of. Yeah, and I, I rated this team. You know, I'd seen them play, and I thought they were very workmanlike. They worked for each other very hard. And for all Milan beat them in Milan, I was impressed the way they played. And, they, you know, Milan got a couple of ch few chances and were deadly on it. Um, but it was important for us to get at them straight away. And I thought we started very brightly, passed the ball around. And I think from... You know, every player in the pitch played a part, and as I say, our football was wonderful tonight. Mark Raduka, back from the Olympics, it, it must be good to be back. Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, a game like this to come back to is uh, unbelievable. And your first goal for Leeds, which, which must be special? Yeah, very special. I mean, uh, you know, I had a bit of a drought there, you know, from the start. But uh, today was, was great, you know, we got off to a good start, I thought, uh, and scoring for me was unbelievable. A lot of happy first in dressing room tonight, and we like winning, as you saw tonight. Um, we like to pass the ball and get forward in the goal scoring areas and we took our chances well tonight. And you're top of the group? Well, 
No one had a fight when we went to Barcelona and got beat 4-0, but that's the spirit of this club.